Hello class, good morning. Today, I will discuss order of operations and read the rules of GMDAS or PMDAS. GMDAS stands for groupings, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. While PMDAS stands for parentheses, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Using GMDAS or PMDAS, G stands for grouping, P stands for parentheses, M multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And remember that we should start from left to right. So here is our um, mathematical expression, 2 times quantity 2 plus 3 minus 7. So we should um, solve first the number inside the parentheses is to remove the parenthesis sign so 2 plus 3 the answer is 5 then copy 5 times then copy 7 the next one since multiplication division addition subtraction what should we do we should subtract first or multiply very good we should multiply first 5 times 5 the answer is 25 minus 7 25 minus 7, the answer is 18. Another example, 3 times 8 minus 5 times 4. So what we do first, multiply 3 and 8, 5 and 4 before we proceed in subtraction. So 3 times 8, the answer is 24 minus 5 times 4, the answer is 20. 24 minus 20, the answer is 4. Another example, 81 divided by 9 divided by 3. Since using GMDAS or PEMDAS, we should start from left to right. So, we will divide first 81 to 9. 81 divided by 9, the answer is... 9 then copy divided by 3 so 9 divided by 3 the answer is 3 81 divided by 9 divided by 3 the answer is 3 another example 10 plus 32 divided by 8 times 2 so what should we solve first 32 divided by 8 or 8 times 2 Remember that multiplication and division have the same level of priority. To decide when to multiply or divide, always perform one which appears first from the left to right. So even that in GMDAS, multiplication comes first. They have the same or these um, two operations have the same level of priority so what we will follow what we follow is from left to right or which appears first from left to right since division appears first so we should um solve first 32 divided by 8 32 divided by 8 the answer is 4 times 2 plus 10 the next, multiply 4 times 2, the answer is 8, plus 10. So, the answer is 18. Another example, 12 minus 6 plus 2. Remember that subtraction and addition have the same level of priority. To decide when to add or subtract, always perform the one which appears first from left to right. So even that addition comes first before subtraction in GMDAS, what we consider is the one which appears first from left to right since they have the same level of priority. So, 12 
minus 6, the answer is 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2, the answer is 8. Example, Ronel first traveled for 2 hours by a car at the rate of 80 km per hour. And then he traveled 45 minutes by bus at the rate of 60 km per hour. How many kilometers did Ronel travel? The first step that we're going to do is to convert 60 km per hour into kilometer per minute because the given is 45 minutes. So he traveled 2 hours at the rate of 80 km per hour and 45 minutes at the rate of 60 km per hour. So we need to convert this one into kilometer per minute to solve the kilometer or of 45 minutes. So 60 km per hour times 1 hour over 60 minutes because in 1 hour there are 60 minutes. So if we solve 60 times 1 divided by 60, the answer is 1. Cancel R and copy kilometer and minutes. So, 1 kilometer per minute. So, that, since we have 45 minutes, if we multiply 45 minutes to 1 kilometer per minute, the answer is 45 kilometer. So, he traveled 45 kilometer for 45 minutes at the rate of 60 km per hour. Now let's proceed to 2 hours at the rate of 80 km per hour. So 2 times 80, the answer is 160. So he traveled for, um, 80 kilo, for 160 km. And 45 kilometer here. So Ronel traveled 205 kilometer. For your activity, answer practice A and B on page 38 and quiz on page 39. Take a photo of your answer, send your answer via private message. Deadline, September 4, 4 p.m.